Amen. We bless the Lord. Amen. For Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to introduce my husband. Amen. Amen. I believe the worship. Amen. The praises have already gone up and we bless God. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for every round going higher and higher. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle Jenkins. Amen. has been my husband for 22 years. Amen. The father of seven children. Amen. Three of which are here. Um, he is a man of God that will get on the keyboard, get on the drum, sing, preach, prophesy, praise, worship, and do whatever it does say the Lord. He's preached the gospel all over this country. Um, I always tell the testimony that I know God is a deliverer because of his life. In the beginning of our marriage, he went through for a moment a backsliding stage. And I remember saying, God, I thought he had the Holy Ghost, and I heard the tongue-talking kind, and so I didn't know what was going on, and so he would be stumbling up the stairs, and, and I would say, God, how did he even get home? I would be looking out the window, praying to God for him to bring him home, and somehow God was bringing him home. And he didn't stay in that stage very long because when God has a hook in your jaw, you can't go too far and stay too long. looking at him and judging him and my apostle at the time said, Sister Angie, now you got married and right now you backslide because you want to fight it out of him, but you got to pray it out of him. Amen. And so I know that it's not how you start, but it's how you finish. And sometimes that very one, they bypass you that never backslide. And so we have to be careful that we never judge a thing before time, but God has taken to heights unknown. His great-grandmother called him dead man walking because at the age of five years old, he fell out of a, a two-story window and he was had internal uh, bleeding, a broken rib, and it wasn't looking good. They took him to one hospital. That hospital couldn't do anything. They had to fly him to Tampa General Hospital and he had a praying family, a praying uncle, and his mother called him and said, Deacon Robert, I need you to pray for my baby because it's not looking good. Anybody know but, but God? Amen. And so they 